Yeah. Are we doing good? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good. Oh. Yeah. And I spilled some shit on my shirt. Can y'all see it? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, there. Uh, I'm also racially ambiguous. Um, I found that out kind of recently. Uh, I was on the subway the other day, and I overheard this couple talking. And this guy was like, yo, I think that black guy might be Indian a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm prompted. Like, I didn't tell him to say that. He said that. It's crazy. I'm, I'm half black, half Indian, and I came out like a Dominican guy. <laughs> um, so that happens. Y'all laughing a little too hard. <laughs> I was like talking to my boy. The best way to describe it is uh, I'm black enough to say the N-word, but not black enough to get my Mexican friends to stop saying it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican people love saying the N-word. We do it all the time. <laughs> it's been a weird week for you boys. It's been a weird week. I've been going through it. I also had a bad incident at the airport. Uh, I got randomly stopped by TSA. Um, my name is Jamel Ademar Sirleaf. I was like, ain't nothing random about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> total coincidence, total coincidence, when they went through my bag, I had a book in there. Uh, it was Islam in 60 Minutes. <laughs> Again, total coincidence. It's not for two reasons. First reason, I don't know, you know, Islam and TSA, they're not, they're not close. They don't <laughs> Don't fuck with each other like that. <laughs> yeah, they're not tight. <laughs> but in 60 minutes, it seems like I was in a rush. You know what I mean? Like, hey man, why do you need to learn Islam in an hour? I was like, well, my flight boards in 45 minutes. <laughs> the worst part is I had two books in my bag. The other book was Student Loan Debt for Dummies. So it seems like I cut this weird deal with ISIS where they put my shit off. <laughs> I love when black people laugh. <laughs> you saw this thing got up earlier. He couldn't be standing. <laughs> I was waiting on one of these black people just take off in front of you. So. Anyway. <laughs> We're talking about a lot of stuff. I suffer from post nut clarity. I don't know if I guess this. She said, yeah. <laughs> It's sad for all you old people that no, know that. Um, post nut clarity is right after you orgasm, you remember that you don't like that person that much. That's basically what it is. And so and I hate post nut clarity. It's so unfair. You just have this great time, and then all of a sudden, you get all of your regular thoughts in you. <laughs> Not fair. Like, I'm always coming with, oh, oh. I didn't call my grandpa before he died. I didn't call him. I never will see him again. Do you want to porn, sir? <laughs> Let him speak. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You're in a safe space. Go ahead. <laughs> you watched a lot of porn. <laughs> I, read this, I read this article. Well, I read the headline of this article. I read the headline of this article. <laughs> That porn is ruining relationships, which maybe because I think pornography has been going crazy these days. They keep putting all that expectations in there. Maybe I'll speak personally. As a black man, sometimes porn makes me uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys have seen the black guys that do porn, but they all play football, apparently. They big dudes. They don't work regular jobs. These things, they're all humans. So unfair. Like, big expectations. About, about this long of expectations. <laughs> It's getting, to, it's getting out of control. Okay, I saw a video on Pornhub the other day. Uh, it was an hour and 45 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> Shrek 2 was an hour and 45 minutes long. Call me crazy. I don't think those two things should be the same length. <laughs> That's just me. I don't know. I got a dog. I thought a dog would make me feel better. I think white people ruin dogs. <laughs> you did. You did. Stop putting them in sweaters and shit like that. So annoying. Dogs don't need shoes. They're going to come with them in the package. <laughs> we got to start treating dogs like pets again. Some people, we treat dogs like humans too much. It's ruining them. Like, I took my dog to the vet. I was like, hey, doc, everything all right? He was like, no. 
your dog has ADHD. <laughs> I'm like, Amy, you trying to waste my time? Because this is a two hundred dollar appointment. Um, I was like, why am I supposed to fix that? How, how do I remedy the situation? He's like, well, you got to get the dog medication. I'm like, all right, how much medication? He was like, four hundred dollars a month. I was like, you know, man, he don't got no projects due or nothing. Like that. I feel like we'll be alright. I feel like we need to be more productive. I feel like we need to be more productive. Alright, you guys have a lot of time. My name is Marcelo.